everybody, it's your old pal Larry, back with Weekly Horror Movie Finds. I skipped last week. Did you miss me? Well, I didn't find anything. That's why I skipped it. I literally sat down to do the video last Friday and realized I had fucking nothing. Like two things, and neither one of them were very remarkable. So uh, I saved up. And went out last weekend and uh, found nothing. I didn't do good last weekend either. <laughs> I'm on a slump. Hopefully this weekend, maybe. Hello, Kieran. Welcome aboard, sir. Um, yeah, so hopefully this weekend. It's been a two-week drought. But, luckily, I, f- mail- I ordered some stuff in the mail and got it this week. And, uh, and I found, oh, I guess I have three things that I found at thrift stores and two things that I got in the mail. Mother. Hello, mother. So, uh, let's get right fucking to it. Cause it's going to be short, kind of. This is a weekly horror movie find slash unboxing for you, everybody. Are you excited? You shouldn't be. So I found, uh, found a little paperback, the leisure book. Leisure, leisure fiction, leisure, leisure publication, uh, teats up everybody. Uh, you probably know that, but uh, they're no longer in existence. And uh, I really enjoyed. I don't think I read a bad author under that label, that publisher. So uh, I'm positive I don't have this. Richard Lehman, the seller, and uh, snatched it up. It's like new. It's like newsies, everybody. Thanks for the heart, mother. Happy Friday, everyone. It's the best time of the week. So, uh, yeah. Judge me if you will. I like this movie. Sorry. I know. I know why you wouldn't like it. But, uh, I love fucking voodoo. I love voodoo. And the the whole New Orleans voodoo scene. Uh, having been there a couple times... It's fucking just cool. It's a cool vibe in this movie. A good twist. Kate Hudson's not bad. Uh, And I got this for like a couple bucks, I think. With the slipcover still intact and ready to fucking go. So there you go. 95% sure I don't have it already. You never know, though. Once I start going through my collection, I I always pull out shit that I didn't know I had. And I'm like, wow, I almost just ordered this on eBay, but I've, I've clearly owned it for years. The longer, the worse it is. Now, this is, uh, this is a box of McGruff. McGruff. You won't focus, will you, you dirty cunt? You focus, you whore. Yeah, McGruff's right there. That blurry, that blurry spot with the word balloon. Uh, these are just trick or treat, uh, trick or treat bags, I guess. Little trick or treat bags, and it's a whole fucking box of them. And it was two bucks, and I went ahead and opened it now to show you. It's a whole box of them, brand new, new old stock, I guess you would say. And I'll probably trade them. I have no use for them, but uh, I know people that do. So maybe someday I'll trade that shit. Uh, Got this little honey in the mail. Sexy. uh, I've been collecting soundtracks lately on CD. Because nobody else wants them. And you can get them pretty cheap most of the time. So uh, I found this one dude that had like a lot of independent soundtracks. People want those less. Less. Way less. So, uh, my, one of my favorite director, writer-directors is uh, John Knotts. He did uh, The Shrine and Jack Brooks, Monster Slayer and Goddess of Love and Girl House. All right over here. I'm, I'm fucking refreshing my memory. And uh, so, like, he had, like, uh, a couple John Knotts soundtracks and something extra special. Now, uh, I got three of these. Uh, Jack Brooks was supposed to be like $16 just by itself. And, uh, but they were all best or best offer. So I offered him $4 a piece for all three, 
hoping that he would see, hey, this asshole's getting them shipped all to the same location. Maybe I can cut him a little deal. And uh, sure enough, he contacted me and he was like, would you do 16 for all three? And I'm like, fuck, yeah, that's like, I think the other ones were supposed to be eight. Uh, One of them was 16. So like, I mean, I got a fucking great deal. Uh, Three CDs in a bubble mallard. Keep your fingers crossed. USPS might be sticking it in old Larry again and breaking it off. We'll find out in a second. Because these are not packaged well. Three CDs with plastic slip... they are plastic slip covers. Yeah. Plastic jewel cases. Uh, you know, USPS, that's just fucking... That's just a challenge to USPS. To see, like... Hey, what would happen if we ran a fucking forklift over these? That would be fucking funny. Let's see what happens, and we'll pretend nothing happened, and we'll just fucking... And we'll just continue to send them to the person, and uh, maybe they'll bitch. But, like, that's not going to get them anywhere. So these are all fucking brand new. Check this out. They all look to be intact. They're not shattered beyond belief. Uh, The Shrine, John Knott's movie, really fucking good. One of my favorites. Uh, Jack Brooks, Monster Slayer. That was his first film. It's a horror comedy. It's got Robert England in it, and uh, really fucking funny. Really well done for an indie fucking horror comedy with a lot of fucking practical effects. Tough. Tough. I don't know where he got the budget for that. This is uh, actually a little, little cardboard, old school cardboard CD on the outside. And this one, uh, in celebration of Nicholas McCarthy's The Prodigy. Is that it? The Prodigy, I think. Yeah, it's coming out today. Um, Nicholas McCarthy, amazing fucking uh, direct writer, director. Unfortunately, he did not write The Prodigy. Uh, it's by a hack, uh, a hack screenwriter named Jeff Bueller, I believe it is. And uh, he's right. He wrote uh, the 2020 Grudge re 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 remake that's coming out. Uh, he re- did the Jacob's Ladder remake script, and he also did Pet Cemetery. So, uh, ha- hacky, hack script writer. But, uh, you know, I'm still going to go see it because I love Nicholas McCarthy. And this was one of his first films, The Pact. Really great fucking, really great indie horror. And uh, watch The Pact and The Pact 2 back to back, even though he didn't direct it. It's like the indie Halloween, Halloween 2. Uh, meshes flawlessly and uh, really good fucking watch. Could, couldn't do fucking better in the horror, indie horror genre. And, uh, you know, Nicholas McCarthy also did uh, At the Devil's Door, which I fucking love. And uh, he did like some anthologies. Uh, the fucking Holidays Anthology. He's got one in there and uh, some other one that I can't remember, I think. Maybe ABC's a horror, some bullshit. So there you go. I got those for 16 bucks for all three. It's a deal. It's not a thrift store deal by any any means because, like, you know, that's for Larry, that's paying up by a lot. (laughs) Those are supposed to be like a dollar each. (laughs) I don't even, I can't, if I do the math, I'll fucking stay up. Don't do thrift store math with the fucking shit you get on eBay, man. It's like, for a cheap ass like me, that's just, I'm just like, I'm a loser. I could have applied myself more and found those out in the wild. I need to fucking, I really need to go fucking ass and elbows on fucking CD sections of thrift stores. I'm not applying myself enough. It goes on and on. You don't even, you can't even imagine the dementia in my head. Um... Imagine I'm probably showing everybody the addresses on all this stuff, <laughs> as usual. But, uh, yeah, I got this. Uh, what was it? It wasn't uh, this past Monday. It was the Monday before. Mystery Tape Monday, if you missed it. I found the uh, r- a recorded original broadcast of Storm of the Century, Stephen King's miniseries. Uh, recorded on TV out of Chicago. Uh, Boner still hasn't gone down since I found it, 
But uh, I'm going to make some VHS copies of it. And I had an idea. What does the TV guide look like from the week that that premiered? I looked it up. It looks cool. So I bought one. Really fucking cheap. Uh, It looks like it was in a bubble mailer, but the person actually has a fucking brain. And uh, did a little extra. A little extra cardboard fucking stiffness in there, if you will. to, uh, To protect it. And let's see how she fared. It looks like she fared very well. There's the cover. Stephen King, Storm of the Century. Uh, that's going to be the, the cover of my VHS, if I'm not revealing too much, which I probably am. But uh, I'm going to scan this, and I'm going to scan the back of it, and it's going to be my artwork for my little fucking Storm of the Century bootleg VHS, if I could get that out. Uh, looks like it did really nice. This little scuffing at the bottom was definitely in the pictures, I remember. And I was like, that'll, it adds character. It's not creased. There is no, clearly no forklift driven over it. USPS tried, probably tried their best to destroy it. But this person cared. He cared enough to, to package it properly so it gets old Larry better and in, in good condition. Hello, Vanessa. Just in time for me to leave. So, uh, yeah, that's all I found. I'm going to go out tomorrow and hit it hard again. I'm hoping to break my fucking two-week slump. Hopefully. Hello, Todd, and goodbye. (laughs) I'm out of here. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll break the slump tomorrow. I have no idea where I'm going, but I'll figure it out on the way. And, uh, yeah, that's it, everybody. I hope everybody has a good weekend, as always. Get the fuck out of my house. Bye.